Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris at Winsound.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the slicing mode within the Futz Time feature in Logic Studio 9. And remember, you can always get in contact with me with any questions, comments, or ideas. Chris at Winsound.com. First thing that you need to do is open up Futz Time. You can do this by clicking on the Futz icon at the top of your screen. Scroll down to slice in and select that. You are now working within slicing mode. As you can see, a bunch of white lines have appeared on all of the beats within that region. These are called transient markers. You'll see another marker that's opened up as well, one with an orange tip on the top. This is called a flutz marker. This is where you click and flutz the time within your region by doing so. And now you can create other flutz markers by simply just clicking within the region. If you click at the top half of the region, it's going to create one flutz marker. Whereas if you go to the bottom half of the region, it's going to create three. One specifically where you click and the other two on its surrounding transient markers. Now, when you click and drag a flutz marker, it's only going to drag the audio up until the next transient marker. That's where it's going to stop, as you can see. And as you can see, as I'm dragging, two different colors are appearing. One is green and one is orange. Orange means that that audio material is being expanded, whereas the green means that that audio is being compressed. Depending on which direction you drag the marker in, you can see the colors act appropriately. And now there are a few parameters that you can tweak within this mode. To do so, go right over here to Guitar 1, since I am working on Guitar 1 region. Select the arrow going down. And right here, C, D, K. Just by clicking on that number right here, I can drag up and down the decay time within the changes that I'm making. And then right here where it says fill gaps, by clicking fill gaps off by unchecking that box, it's turning off the decay time. Whereas if I check that box back on, the decay time that I have now set will affect the region appropriately. Make sure you follow Winsound on Twitter and Facebook to stay connected to a stream of new videos as well as cool music production links. Twitter.com slash Winksound or search for Winksound on Facebook.